Okay, so I decided to have this car dustless blasted today in the 40 degree weather. Um, so we decided to not use the dustless method. Uh, Michael went with the dry method. And uh, it worked out a lot better. I think we may be doing this from now on. Um, finally had my wood grain thing done. But um, Here's the doors, trunk lid, hood, 70 fenders, extensions um the whole car inside pretty much inside and out i didn't do every square inch inside i'd already done this but uh got a good uh i don't want to do a good video here so you can anybody can see when this car is done what i started with <clears throat> as you can see there isn't basically no rust on this car the only rust was this piece here in here and i have those new i'm putting in the window channel is really nice we turn some lights on here's all the brackets and stuff i'm using that stuff's very time consuming tail panel is really nice trunk floor is really good really clean up in here very very clean it's one of the best cars you'll find of course this car is from kansas so it has some hail damage but uh some dents and dings but uh, of course a no vinyl top car so they use lead all the way not just seam sealer um again it's getting this piece new and this piece new but uh overall the window channels are even really nice on this car uh floorboards a couple pinholes here and there uh other, overall if you if you could say a floor pan is perfect this is a perfect floor pan um so i mean when this car is done and uh again it, this car will be for sale so i mean you know if you're building a car whether you're building a keep or, or what are you doing make, make videos make documentation of how the car looked you can tell them well i didn't do any panel replacement well prove it you don't really know when it's all covered up but uh there's no reason for any panel replacement on this car here. Very, very, very clean car. We kept all this covered up today. But um, rock solid floorboards, rock solid trunk. Um, the fenders, even the fenders, uh, I had to use different. Well, I used, a, used this fender. This is the original. Little rust at the bottom. Easy fix had to use one had to dig one of those out this fender here is from california i got from a guy and uh it got a little damaged in shipping you can see right there uh shipping damage there but uh completely basically rust-free fender there's a trunk lid i'm using it come off a it's a rust-free trunk lid off of 72 all i gotta do is weld these holes up this real clean piece had to have another hood I had this hood in my inventory, pretty good hood, uh, used it. Uh, and low pressure, long distance, and that's how you blast a hood without warping it. And we succeeded with that today. So anyway, rust-free doors, one original, one that was actually in the trunk of the car. So uh, here's our car all sprawled out here. Again, if you're just now finding this video, it's a 70 SS454. Uh, I've made a few videos prior. Um, it's a Kansas uh, car. It spent most of its life, life in the Midwest, so the body is very dry. Again, they were minimal rust. Um, most of the rust is confined to the, to the area that these cars are notorious for rusting. A no vinyl top car, factory black car, uh, factory bucket seat car so it's stripped and it's bare bones so basically it can't go no lower than this at this point we'll be starting uh back up with it so uh, again the car's already been off the frame all new bushings frame's been uh epoxied um paint, uh, just a satin epoxy to, to to look good and uh this is pretty much going to be it underneath, but uh, 
there's a lot of work to do. It's gonna be a black car. This car's gonna have to be exceptionally straight, as with any dark color. Um, so I hope you enjoy watching this car be built. Um, this is November, second week of November, 2019. Uh, we've already came a long way. There's a lot of work underneath I've done, done you can't see. The frame's done, all fuel lines, brake lines, suspension, all that's done. Anyway, like, share, comment. Uh, thanks for watching.